Now let's create a post API. We want to be able to create new messages, add new messages. And we decided that the REST API that we're going to use is a post request to the slash messages collection URL with the request body containing the new message in JSON format. So that's what we're going to implement. And uh, implementing a post method is fairly simple. If you remember, we just need to do a add post annotation to a method. So I'm going to import add post from the same standard package that we've been using. And uh, I'm going to copy over the produces annotation as well. I'm going to write a test method just to see if this works. Uh, this is add message and uh, I'm just going to return post works. Okay, so this is mapping the slash messages post method to this add message method, which just returns post works. So I'm going to switch over to postman to this URL, web API slash messages, the collection URL. I'm going to do a post method. So this is the selector where you can choose the kind of method that you want to issue. And uh, I'm just going to hit send. And there you go. Post works fine, which is great. But there are a couple of things you need to remember when you're making post requests. There are a few things over here in the UI. So there's one set of buttons where you can choose between form data form URL encoded data and raw data. So this is the request body. So we're going to use raw, right? So we're going to send the JSON in the request body. And I can just type in the JSON over here and it's going to send it as a part of the request body when I hit send. Okay. The next thing that you need to remember is when you do a post request and you're sending something in the request body, you also have to give this additional clue about what the format of that request body is. Because if you remember, when you get a response from any REST API, if you check the headers tab, you see this entry called content type, which is, it says application JSON over here. But basically any request that you make, let me do a get request over here so you can see what this does. I'm gonna do a get request to slash messages and it gives me a list of messages, right? So if you look at the headers tab, the content type says application JSON, which basically means that this response that is in the body is of JSON format. So whenever you're sending request content or response content, you always need to make sure that you set the header value to the right content type. So when I'm doing a post request over here and I will be entering the JSON with the new message that I want to create, right? I'm doing an add message. So post slash messages should have the request body containing the message in JSON. So this message is in JSON, but I also need to tell the API that this is JSON. So the way to do that is to set it in the headers. So click on the headers button over here. It's going to give you an option to set the header and key and the value. So I set the key as content type. And then I set the value as application slash JSON. And, um, uh, Hit send. I still get post works because I'm not really doing anything over here, but this is the right way to send post requests. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Uh, now let's actually implement the message creation functionality. All right, let's switch to our Eclipse editor. Okay, so now what do I do here to accept that message and send it to the service? Because ideally what I need to be doing is message service dot add message with the new message that needs to be created. But how do I formulate this? How do I get this message from the request body? Well, that's ridiculously simple. All you need to do is accept a message of that type in the method, right? As long as the method argument has this, Jersey knows that this is what you are expecting and it converts this over here, whatever the request body is in JSON to this message instance. Okay. It's the opposite of what we've been seeing so far. We've been seeing the message instance being converted to JSON here. What it does is it does the opposite and all you have to do is 
accept that instance as an argument. It's as simple as that. However, there is just one other thing you will have to do. Just like you have producers for all the methods that produce JSON output, since this is a method that consumes JSON output, you also have to have a consumes annotation. So I'm just gonna annotate this. Consumes media type dot application JSON. I'm gonna import this. So we have a method that accepts JSON and returns JSON. And that's all Jersey needs, right? It says, okay, this method accepts JSON. So it's gonna take this content, convert it into a message instance, and you have a message instance. Now all I have to do is return this because our uh, service returns a message. And of course, I'm gonna have to fix this. We need to return a message. Okay, so leave it to not. Again, this is all it needs and we are done. Now let's test this out. I'm gonna send a JSON and uh, see if this successfully adds that message. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do a get request to slash messages slash one so that I get hold of a JSON structure over here. I'm gonna copy this. And now I'm gonna do a post to slash messages. And I'm gonna paste that JSON over here. I'm gonna remove the ID because we don't want to have that ID added. We want the post to create that ID for us. Uh, the content type is there in the header. I'm choosing raw. The body is this JSON. I'm gonna say hello world two so that it's slightly different. I'm gonna change the date to 15 say. And uh, I'm gonna hit send. There you go, we get the response back with ID three, and we've created a new message. Let's verify that by doing a get request to slash messages. Well, there you go, we've got a new message. We have successfully added a new message using the post request. So that's all there is to it. Hopefully it was simple. If you look at the method, it's just one line. It's just that you have these three annotations. One is a post, which maps it to the method, one is a consumes annotation to say that this method consumes JSON, and one is a produces annotation to say that this method produces JSON. And all you have to do is add a method argument and Jersey does the conversion for you. So there you go, one more API created. In the next tutorial, we're gonna add more. See you then and thanks for watching.